Hey there all, craft beer lovers. Very much welcome to another beer review. Taking a look at a lager tonight, guys. We're packing our bags and go to Sweden to the little town of Eslöv down south in the region of Skåne. Back to Remalöv Goldsbryggeri or Remalöv Farm and Brewery. Taking a look at their Rootkraft or Root Power Swedish Lager Beer. So this one is brewed uh, with a certain type of cereal called Baldo. This one cl clocks in at 5%, 440 ml can, and then you see all those roots there. And I mean, and they have a long description there of uh, this balder, which is a type of cereal, which has a very long history uh, of use, actually, before modern day of, uh, you know, growing and industrialization and everything. So that's basically when the cereals and the, you know, had to be robust and uh, the root system of that uh, cereal was very very sturdy apparently and very very powerful so root power guys root craft swedish lager beer let's give it a pop see what we get right so very interesting so yeah i like remalov it's a very small family owned brewery a lot of smoke there oh that's an interesting color on this uh, lager beer Okay, righty, okay, so I mean, I don't know, yes, of course, what type of malt you're using or cereal, or whatever, whatever you're using, of course, it makes an impression on the beer, it makes a stamp, so to speak, on the beer, of course, uh, it provides the taste and everything, you know, the smell, the aroma, just about everything, so... So they're using some type of very special uh, cereal here for this beer. And I mean, Remalov, I have full confidence in these guys. They're, they know what they're doing. Very small family-owned brewery. Very good beers from these guys. Now we've got two figures worth of head of white. Uh, look at that. Big, big carbonation, certainly. You can hear it. It's got a more dark color to it, actually. It's slightly hazy as well. Okay, interesting. On to the nose, see what we get then. Yeah, you've got some malty notes, you got some classical uh, lager notes, but it's also got a little bit of an earthiness to it. Yeah, very earthy. I can get that more and more. Earthy, almost like a little bit, almost like spiciness to it. Very interesting. So with that said, guys, let's dive in, see what this one brings to the table. Cheers, all. Mm. Yeah, I like it. It's certainly a lager. But it's a little bit different. Yes. Yes, it is. It's got an earthy tone to it. Really earthy. I mean, imagine, guys, a lager. A lager beer. Take your ordinary lager beer. And then give it a little bit of character. And, and you throw in a little bit of earth or a big deal of earthiness in there. And then you get this, actually. It's quite dry. Dry, drying my palate out again. Mm. Mm. So there's almost like a slight marmalade initial taste, a little bit semi sweet, almost like a hint of marmalade, hint of citrus. And then you get that very, very earthy character to it. Very interesting, guys. Let's get the last few drops out, see what we get. Okay, there we go. Uh, still a little bit more than a finger's worth of head. Certainly the same color, but it's got a, a, a certain amount of haste to it. I gotta say that. Look at that, guys. 
Rootkraft, Root Power, Swedish lager beer, certainly very different. Final sip. Mm. I like it. I like it, guys. It's it's very different. It's a it's an ordinary lager, but I mean, it's got a certain character to it. And it's very earthy, slight initial sweetness, kind of a uh, marmalade sweetness. Then it moves quickly over with kind of a dry earthiness. Very earthy. That's what that's how I can put it. Very earthy for me, guys. Rootkraft from Remalov Goldsbriggery, very very interesting beer. Certainly a lager that that they have, you know, basically kind of take they take they take the lager concept basically and they kind of kick it up a few notches if you know what I mean. Uh, very very interesting. Uh, I like it. Now is it something extraordinary, something uh, mind blowing? No, but it's certainly something different. And I like Remalov because they're doing very very nice beers. And this is something different for me, guys. So I'm going to give it a three point seven five out of five. Thank you for watching.